Fresh Baked, yesterday in our live stream, we were talking about uh, kind of the prospects of, of Disneyland opening things up. Uh, the subject of Main Street came up about why they haven't opened Main Street yet. They've, they've been sticking with Buena Vista Street only. You know, things feel like they're pretty, <laughs> they're pretty desperate right now with regard to anything that we can enjoy when, then when we go to the Disneyland Resort. Um, shopping at Buena Vista Street and Di downtown Disney. While fantastic, uh, can, you know, get a little old at times. Anyway, I had said that I would even be willing to pay to go to Disneyland, to walk through Disneyland, to m down Main Street, into uh, Adventureland, Frontierland, Tomorrowland, all those lands, Galaxy's Edge, oh my gosh. I would pay. I would pay to simply be able to walk through the park. And I asked the question, how much would you pay? Uh, and it, it, it triggered a thought in me because that's not an idle suggestion. It's not like, oh, we're just talking, God, I wish we could. I'm literally or legitimately asking you or Disney, what would you do? It seems perfectly reasonable. They have already opened up Wayne Vista Street. Same difference. Uh, they were talking about expanding into, let's say, the Pacific Wharf. Uh, or even to Cars Land. They, we could before, we could go to Grizzly Peak, we could go down uh, into, into the back lot where we can now. We could walk down the parade corridor, you could almost see Cars Land, and they were kind of approaching the idea of, of stretching those boundaries. This is back when they were serving food. But anyway, the point is, is that the idea was that they were getting closer to opening up more of the park. Meanwhile, you've got Knott's Berry Farm, who did exactly that. Knott's Berry Farm just said, screw it, screw it, come on in. You can walk around our park all day. All you, can, all you can do is buy stuff. You can't eat anything, but so what? Just come and see our park. And they didn't even charge you for it. I would pay. I would pay to go walk through Main Street to the hub, through Fantasyland. <laughs> I would pay. How much? I don't know. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that, Disney. Let's talk about that, Fresh Baked, fans of Disneyland. You can charge admission, and there would be a line out to Harbor Boulevard. Now I know that's not exactly politically correct or even, <laughs> I mean they would have, there would be social distance markers and they did this before they had the social distance markers. Let's be real, I mean, it, that's all you gotta do. I know I'm spitballing. I, I mean, I, I know that this is something that, 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 that they have thought of Previously, I know it's something that you have thought of previously, but I, I mean, here we are. Uh, it's been 10 months. We got another five months to go probably before summer gets here and we have a chance to maybe open the park. We don't know. If it's okay for me to go to downtown Disney, if it's okay for me to go to Buena Vista Street, it should be okay for me to go to Main Street. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line, right? and I would be willing to pay. I would pay 20 bucks. I would pay that much just to ride a train, but we know that's not gonna happen. But anyway, I would pay 20 bucks to, to walk down, to walk through the park. I would want the whole park though, not just Main Street. I would like the whole park, uh, or, or at least a good portion of it. When I asked in the live stream last night, there were many people, many people who uh, suggested they would pay $50, 100 even. Not so many on the 100, but a lot of people said 50, Disney, if you're listening. Uh, now, these are folks who probably will just come down from, you know, you know, four or five, six, eight hours away for that one-time visit to downtown Disney or to Main Street uh, to get their Disney fix, and then they wouldn't worry about it for a little while. Locals like us, I don't know if we would pay, you know, 50 bucks every weekend <laughs> to go to the park. I pretty much, no, I don't think I, 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 don't think I would. I don't know. I don't know if I would pay 50 bucks every weekend just to walk through. I would do it one time. I would do it one time, but then after that, they could sell it. Yeah, I mean, make something happen. Why are we still talking about this? Why isn't this a thing already? Why is this not a thing already? Maybe that's why I'm making this video, because I didn't write anything. Obviously, you can tell I'm freewheeling this. I didn't write a script for this. I did put on a costume, though. I did put on my Donald Duck cardigan, but... Um, why are we still talking about this? Why is this not already a reality? I 
I just want to see it. I just want to, I want to go through the turnstile or the gate. Or what, it's not going to be a turnstile. Go, go through the side gate or whatever. I want to walk through, oh my God, walk through the tunnel. I want the town square to be revealed to me. Walk down Main Street, hear the music, the Main Street music. Get a selfie in front of the partner statue, which there'll probably be a cue for, in which case they may not do it. But I, I mean, whatever. I want to do those things. I want to decide which land to go to. They probably wouldn't open Tomorrowland. <laughs> well, no, they would, possibly, because then we get to see the Nemo Lagoon. So maybe they would open it. Or if you go through Fantasyland and the Matterhorn, oh, God, imagine if you could hear the sounds of the Matterhorn right now, the wind howling, the occasional herald. I didn't mean for this to get all reminiscent and but I mean it means that much it means that much to us it's been such a long time meanwhile in Florida just they're just having a great time they're having a great time in Florida <laughs> now I don't know one of those things they're very two extremes right we've got 20,000 people a day going to, to Magic Kingdom and uh, Epcot and we can't even drink water at downtown Disney those are two very big extremes one of those is wrong. Again, I, that, I'll, I just feel like, Disney, if you're listening, I mean, obviously we want this. We here in uh, Southern California, there's plenty of us who, who want this to happen. And, and, and if you're already okay with uh, downtown Disney and Buena Vista Street, then there should be no problem with Main Street. I'll pay. Let us know. Fresh Baked, your thoughts on this topic. I would like to hear from you. Uh, I know that there's a, uh, you know, a, a decent percentage of folks out there who still think it's a big risk and we shouldn't be uh, you know, mixing like this you know, at Disneyland. Um, you know, we, we've been mindful at Downtown Disney. We've been mindful. Everybody wears a mask. Everybody keeps their distance for the most part. I mean, inside of the world of Disney, it gets a little crazy. God, man, going to pieces of eight, you let in three people, four people into pieces of eight. That's it. And then you put out a queue. The Star Trader. Just let us walk around, man. All right, tell me if I'm way out of line. Tell me if... if if I'm uh, a menace to society for suggesting this, I will accept that abuse, I guess. You can't blame me. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a tough 10 months. I'm sure you all would agree. Anyway, let us know in the comments below your thoughts. And uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. I hope, I hope you enjoyed this little discussion, and uh, I want to hear from you. If you do nothing else, tell me one of two things. Either A, if, you, if you're cool with it, how much you'd pay, or two, if you're not cool with it, and tell me to drop dead or stop talking about it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Fresh break.